That's why I told you to save, because that's how the only way you're gonna get a second chance. Uh so what do I do? I is Do I need to be in there? That's what progress is. Oh lord. Okay, you have to help me at least a little bit. What is his pattern? There is no pattern. The game will not let you proceed unless you do this the correct thing. Okay. Which, Sherlock has already told you like 5,000 times what you're supposed to do to clear well, this area. Well, yeah, I changed clothes, but he wouldn't take the guy's clothes. Just because you watched me play this through before doesn't mean the answers are exactly the same. I need another blowpipe. For what? Well, I don't know. <laughs> then why are you getting another blowpipe? Well, I have two vials of sedative. I'm pretty sure they're useful for something. <laughs> He's just gonna lie there forever. Well, yeah, because I gave him horse tranquil. I gave him horse tranquilizers. Probably even elephant tranquilizers. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't have another outfit. I used it on the damn dummy. Unless I can pick it up off the dummy. Or, or sedate this bloke. The bloke's worthless. Thank you for telling me. Let's see, when you did this, you gave Gerda the doll. I cannot do this. And why the hell not? Okay, where'd my, where'd my syringes go? Oh, they're gone. I'm absolutely stuck. Welcome to the experience of being stuck in a mystery, uh, stuck in a mystery adventure game. Ooh. Okay, so if that way, that way got me uh, a game over. This way shouldn't. The game's gonna warn you one final I time. I to get rid of the nurses so I may quietly move about this floor and speak with the patients. Okay, get the nurses off of the floor. What's wrong? I'm trying to think. That's what's wrong. Oh, I thought you. I thought the game froze. No, I'm trying to think of what, what possibility I have. It, obviously, it's some kind of gas that I need to make with this, but I don't know where I can find another container. Because unless... Let me know when you want a nudge. Give me a nudge. You're not done upstairs. Thank you. I was never going to be going back there, so that was a good nudge. Okay, clearly there's something up here I haven't done. Closed tight. Can I pick the lock? Okay. So I don't get to do the mini game again. You got the express treatment. I don't like it. I want to do the game. As long as I keep my distance, I now appear as if I am a male nurse. Cool. So yeah, the and reason the reason I would have never gotten that is because in Hitman, whenever you knock someone out, you can steal their clothes. Mm. And that way and that by 47 blends in with Also save. Yeah. So I was trying to 47 this bitch. That was your problem. 
yeah, so I would have literally never thought to open the wardrobe and get this cloak. I wanted to strip that guy bare ass naked. I'm sure there's more reasons than just Hitman you wanted to do that. This boy weird. Yeah, I'm a weird boy, okay? You can call me weird boy all you want. What? Yeah. I have the fucking outfit! You can click to get through this faster. No, I don't Do not to... start a new game! <laughs> you make it go faster. Uh, you click too much. <laughs> So this outfit doesn't work. It does work, just not there. All right, how about here then? <laughs> Hiding behind walls, Watson. It wouldn't let me go forward. Oh, oh, where, where are you hiding? Where are you? Don't leave me all alone. Hide you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need to get Heidi somehow. Closed tight. And the keys, do they work? Closed tight. Survey says no. <laughs> Forget something. I was just making sure there wasn't another texture on the wall that had a key in it. Oh, good call. I've been burned by this game twice thinking something was a texture. <laughs> so if it didn't go that way, obviously it has to be this way. Oh, hello. Voss is done. I need something. These levers are peculiar. Now it can't be used for anything. Maybe a spoon to dig out the wall? I need something. Clearly not. Becker. Who? Who are you? You are not the nurse. Give them to me. I beg you. What do you need? Small pink crystals. Oh. Please. Well, isn't that In convenient? the laboratory. Oh, here's a thing for rose quartz, huh? Here is your medicine. Now, please, if I could just ask you a few questions. They must be dissolved in water. Water? Yes, there is some in the garden. Okay, we need to get to some g mythical garden. Save. You'll be very sad if you play a lot of this game. I don't, I shouldn't go that way. Because the nurse is in that, uh, in that area. Okay, something has to be done with these levers. I have no time. I should find a way to get rid of the nurses so I may quietly move about this floor and speak with the patients. We're already wearing a lab coat. What more do you need, you frick? What part of get rid of the nurses didn't you understand? Well, yes, but I haven't found another container that I can mix these stupid chemicals with. <laughs> if I did, don't you think I would have already? No, because you would forgot. I don't have a container. The, the meal dish is uh, not suitable. It's for meals. Well, I mean, drugs can be your meal. No, they can't. You'd be surprised. This product is prime. This product is primarily composed. Okay, I don't understand. This product is primarily... There are no containers anywhere. I mean, there's these beakers, but they won't let me pick them up. 
He just says that they're possibly useful, but they does <laughs> nothing lets me pick them up. Measure the beakers. And it can't be another bloody pipe, according to you. I'm running out of ideas. Again. You're not done upstairs. There was nothing left up there to select, though. Again, I say, you're not done upstairs. Oh, there's another door. Ha ha! New area. Oh, this is the garden. Nurse, make him stop. He must stop that. What is the problem, madam? Bauer must stop at once. <laughs> the birds have not been fed for two days. Bauer must have taken the seed. <laughs> I want them to fly. Fly out, fly out. <laughs> when they fly. Birds will be everywhere, and all the men in white will run all around. Run! This takes forever. <laughs> yes, fly, little men, after the birds. I like his voice. <laughs> run here, run there, it run reminds everywhere. Me of one of Joe's voices. Men in white, <laughs> run, run, run! <laughs> they won't see me, the men in white. Chase the little birds far, far away from here. Then I will. Where is he in the dialogue? Go here, go there, go, go, go there. everywhere. Okay. <laughs> tweet, tweet, birds. Extraordinary. These are all bird variants that can speak. Ah, so let's let them loose, shall we? Closed tight. We have a key. Closed there tight. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Sit <laughs> through that again. Now my smock will not help me. I must avoid being noticed. Okay, I need to find a way to open this. Maybe, uh, maybe spoon it. I'd fork it, but I don't have a fork. This lock is too complex for this tool. Well, at least he said something different. Yep. If I want her to save in case you accidentally wander too close to Nurse Man. Yeah, sounds like a plan. And actually, if your brain is getting tired, it might not be a bad idea to stop for the day. My brain is not tired. My brain is frustrated. All right. I'm trying to figure out what this next move is. Well, you're also going to get the summons call in 10 minutes, so. Can I talk to this little old woman over here? Hi. She's just going to look at you. Hello! Well, there's the water I need for the crystals. And now I combine the crystals with the water. And now I have Pepto Bismol. Yeah. It looks like Pepto Bismol. It might be strawberry quick. It's my seventh favorite pink liquid. Narrowly, be narrowly beating out Pepto Bismol. Actually, I love pink Nesquik. My God, that is that is delicious. I'm gonna make some after we get finished here for the day. I think he's just saying that for the camera. It's not actually gonna do it. I will text you a photo. Mm hmm. I will comment later if he did or not. In the meantime, here it is, my friend. You must tell me where. Make the male nurse leave, and I will tell you anything you want. All right, where is the key to the aviary? The mad girl. Bring her doll to her. She knows. 
I should Art find Turner. a way to get rid of the nurses so I may quietly move about this floor you know and to speak here. with the patients. Dolly time. And I already have the dolly. Mm -hmm. It looks much better in the new version. <laughs> Look who is here to see you, miss. Heidi. Heidi. You are here. The bad men took you away. But you came back. I love how the use Heidi the back told of the head me she wanted to come back in. to you. Yeah, that was pretty clever. You know how to free the kind birds from their cage. They do a similar thing in Hitman. Bad men took Heidi away. They said I was a bad girl because I cut off the head of that nasty brute. But he started it. He was bad first. He did terrible things, this bad man? Oh, yes. He came in the night for us. He took Heidi and I to his room, near the birds. And he was very, very nasty with me. He had the key to the bird's house and said if I wasn't a good girl, he would send them away. I didn't like that because Heidi loves the birds. Oh, so he was a rapist. So good my that child, he cut his head the off. key to the birdhouse is upstairs in his room? Yes, it's there. Now the lady lives there, but I am not allowed to see the birds anymore. Thank you very much. What is that, Heidi? Oh, you want to thank the gentleman. And you have a present for him. What a sweet girl you are. Oh, I agree. Heidi wants to thank you and says to tell you a secret. When I cut the bad man's head, she didn't want him to ever come back. So she hid the key in her belly. We are in your debt, young lady, and our humble thanks to you, Heidi. Heidi, child of the mountains. That lady definitely lost a, a child in, in, when, when she was uh, very young. <laughs> I can tell that she was definitely a teen mom and was forced to either give up the baby or the baby died in childbirth. Mm -hmm. And definitely based on that story about the rapist that she killed, it was definitely because of a rape baby rapist that she had Heidi. <laughs> so let's let the tweet tweet birds go. I, I I'm totally I'm totally on her side with killing the rapist. Closed tight. I have a key. You gotta you do. Closed tight. But that's the key though. This is the key to open the tweet tweet bird cage. Closed tight. Are you sure? Should I give it to this gentleman? Ha <laughs> ha But it has an owl on it! What am I- what? This is the only key and she gave it straight to me! Oh, it's in his room. <laughs> I was waiting for it. The connection to be made. Ha. Ha. Macrame, a healthy occupation for modern women uh, by Cali Mobile Smith Papadopoulos. And look at this. British pronunciation it is a signed so superior. I they call Lieutenant Lieutenant. So? I don't think that a lot of the things are right. How is how do you get left out of loo? Macrame. Okay. Dear Fraud Fraulein Mueller, 
We are definitely so deeply sorry, but it seems we sent you to the wrong spectacles, which were actually intended for another customer. In fact, they are waiting for those lenses, and you know how difficult it is to be without spectacles. If you could be so kind as to return them, we will gladly pay off all your expenses for this regrettable mistake. Once again, please accept our most sincere apologies. And she never returned them. This must be the key to the aviary. When you have done. So why do you keep opening that every time we go to the door? Usually E is the button to open things. Ah, uh, get that out of your head. Yeah, I, I would if I could, but I can't, so I shan't. Closed tight. to the bird cage is open. Help us. <laughs> yeah, I love the way he runs. <laughs> the birds have escaped. Quick, catch them. Catch them. I like how they just fly through the geometry. Thanks to the <laughs> panic, all the nurses will be elsewhere, as Bao would say. <laughs> While the guards are busy trying to catch the bird. You shouldn't have to save for the rest of the segment because all the threats are gone. Good. I was getting tired of, of quick saves. Save. Why would I? <laughs> Just in case. You're, you've been too spoiled by autosave systems. Oh yes, very much so. Even in autosave games, I prefer the manual save. The attendant is gone. Ah, uh, I'm very glad. But you are not an attendant? No, my good man, I am not. I arrived from London to investigate private charges of embezzlement against this establishment. You came all the way from London? Why would anyone choose to come to this godforsaken place? Indeed, I have just arrived from London and my reasons will soon be clear. Listen to me, I know you do not belong here. You are not mad, merely the victim of a trap that only the most expert specialists could untangle. More importantly, you are the only person here who can give me the information I require. If you could speak with me, assuming your pain has not returned, I would be in your debt. But who are you? Someone who could guarantee your freedom once my objectives are secured. But I have little time, and you must listen to me carefully. Did you hear the staff or other inmates speak on any suspicious activities other than the horrible mistreatment you have all suffered at the hands of the staff? You are from English Customs, then? You must be interested in the arrival of illegal foreign lunatics in your country. What makes you say this? Well, some time ago, they removed all the foreigners from their cells, and they were never seen or heard from again. Perhaps they were shipped into your country without the usual formalities? Those foreigners, where did they come from? I don't know exactly, because oddly, they never associated with the rest of the inmates. They arrived regularly, one or two fellows per month. Most peculiar. Did they speak among themselves? I could hear them trying to talk to one another, but it seemed as if they couldn't understand each other. As if each spoke a different dialect. Also, none of them seemed mad in the least. And then, there was one other odd event. They were downstairs, and it was shortly before their departure. I strained to hear them, and could barely make out their conversation. This time, they all seem to speak the same language. And what is even stranger, they seem to be saying the same thing repeatedly. You must rest now, but don't lose hope as I am here to help. I am afraid I must leave you now. If you need to know other information, you can see me when you like. All right, so we've talked to Becker. Everyone yep. else is gone. 
Mm-hmm. Impossible. And now would actually be a good time to stop. All right, so thank you all for watching this episode of uh, Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. If you liked it, leave us a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. Go check out Anthony's channel. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends, GeoJo2000 and uh, uh, LuigiFan891.